Joe's not happy with it. He's not confident in the front of the car. The front's understeering. It's sliding across the road. He's not able. He's having to hesitate before he gets on the throttle. Magnussen goes ninth fastest. Stroll slow through the first sector. Bottas goes 11th fastest. Sonoda is next to cross the line. Only 12th fastest. Puts his teammate Pierre Gasly uh, in the at-risk zone. Uh, Gasly uh, takes the check of flag. Stays 15th. Very much at risk now as Latifi goes above Sebastian Vettel and only 19th on the grid. Let's watch Daniel Ricciardo now. Uh, impressive first sector. On a par with Stroll for the middle sector. Ricciardo's Ooh. out in qualifying. Only by a couple of hundreds of a second but that is a big disappointment as Fernando Alonso goes fourth fastest for Alpine can Lance Stroll get himself out of the bottom five no he's out is it a double Q1 knockout for the third weekend in a row I'm afraid it is for Aston Martin a Sebastian Vettel only 17th well Vettel's lost the lap track limits at turn one so that's why Vettel's ended up at the bottom of the pile Sebastian Vettel right at the back. Nicholas Atifi alongside him. Joe Guanyu, Lance Stroll and Daniel Ricciardo. They're all out of qualifying this evening. The two Ferraris the fastest so far. Lots and lots of green and purple sectors are being set by oh. the cars out of the track. Was he over the line there, Alex Albon? Was he just on the line coming out of the final corner? Either way, goes only 10th fastest. So he's in, but by a fraction. And Valtteri Bottas uh, is out on the track and can go again, as can the rest of the bottom five. We're on board with Sergio Perez, 16.5 for the first sector. Hamilton's had his latest lap time deleted for exceeding track limits. Perez was close to the edge going through turn six. He's got plenty in hand to make it out of that bottom five. Uh, Bottas going well too as he tries to get into the top ten here. And we have the chequered flag out. So if you're not on a lap, uh, then you've missed out on your chance to improve. Verstappen does improve, goes second fastest. What about his teammate? Goes sixth fastest, pushes Gasly down into the bottom five. Fernando Alonso currently ninth fastest and trying to improve his situation. Verstappen was the first to take the chequered flag, so there'll be no more improvement from him, but he probably doesn't need it. He's safely through to Q3. Fernando Alonso would love to be there too, but stays ninth fastest right on the cusp of elimination. I rather get the feeling he should be okay though. Those behind are not putting in uh, times uh, that are going to trouble anyone in the top 10. And Sergio Perez is going to be investigated after the session for exceeding track limits. We lose Valtteri Bottas and Alex Albon and Pierre Gasly too. Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes, one, two, three. So a 105.4 for George Russell takes him to the top of the timing charts. Charles Leclerc was quicker through the middle sector uh, than George in the Mercedes and goes fastest overall by nearly three tenths of a second. Max Verstappen has aced by a tenth of a second. The first sector on this lap, Carlos Sainz has put in a couple of decent sectors for the two thirds of the lap that he's completed so far. Ocon hangs on to third place as Magnussen crosses the line fourth. He started the sprint to Imola in fourth place earlier this season. Schumacher goes fifth fastest. Sainz will be next to cross the line. Puts his Ferrari on the front row with his teammate Charles Leclerc but Max Verstappen might have a thing or two to say about that and does. Provisional pole goes to Max Verstappen with Sergio Perez fourth fastest as he crosses the line. George Russell uh, getting a little bit out of shape. Has something just fallen off his car or was it paint from the uh, uh, the curbing? I'm not sure but he stays fifth fastest. Somebody's uh, gone off somewhere. Yellow Lewis, flag. Lewis has crashed. Lewis has gone off. He stopped at turn seven. Damn, I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry to damage the car. Uh, yeah, this, he's got some front suspension damage as well, as you can see. So it's actually quite a slap sideways, isn't it? So he had to turn into a, a slide. And it, uh, it, he looks as surprised as anybody there. George Russell going through turn six. He's... Uh, a little bit off the pace here is uh, George Russell in terms of moving up from that fifth place position that he finds himself in currently. Right on the line with his right oh, hand tyres. in the wall. Go through turn nine and that is not one but two Mercedes cars out of qualifying. And George Russell brings out another red flag as he rear ends into the barriers at turn ten. Yeah, it's, it's gone on the way into the corner feel much did it on board but uh, it's folded the rear wing up okay yep it's a red flag red flag straightest line you can get away with 
break really late into the top of the hill. A lot of horrible cambers there. It's a clumsy corner. And that was uh, nicely done through the exit. Just enough. Talk demand to light up the rear tyres a little bit. And down the left-hand side, straight line. Downshift, 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 brake. Get off the brakes. Let the nose of the car go into the corner. Then pick up the throttle. And uh, just ease it through. Neat, tidy, economical with the steering wheel. And just kissing the gravel there. Absolutely incredible. So uh, middle sector not astonishing for Leclerc at this stage. But let's see if he can hook a lap up in its entirety. Two to go. And it's time then to keep it neat and tidy through the final corner and go. Drive for the line right on the exit there. He was close to the line. Leclerc goes on pole position. I was going to say, he's left it to the last sector to get the job done, and he has for the time being. Charles Leclerc's on provisional pole. Carlos Sainz back alongside him on the front row. Ferrari saving their best till last. Verstappen crosses the line. Verstappen snatches that pole position back again. Sergio Perez next to cross the line. Can't do anything to deny him. Two poles in 2022 for Verstappen. Make that three. Two Two poles in the last two races here at the Red Bull Ring. Make that three. Not bad, not bad. Good effort, that. Hey, well done, mate. Incredibly close. Three cars within a tenth. So uh, incredibly good, uh, good job there. Well done. No points for tonight. The points get decided tomorrow and on Sunday. But Verstappen for the second time this season wins the conventional qualifying for a sprint weekend.